Good morning, you guys. How are you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am Vanessa. I live in a van and she got a name. Her name is Treasure. I am getting ready to go uh, into town today. Today is going to be my last day uh, in Pahrump, Nevada. I am leaving tomorrow. Uh, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So I'm leaving tomorrow. So today I need to go into town. I need to go check my mail eventually. I need to go wash clothes. I need to go to Walmart and get some water. Where I'm going in Arizona do not have, uh, stores close by like here i could just get on the road and i'm in town in less than five minutes and a walmart is in town so i could go into town every day if i wanted to but where i'm going uh they do not have a walmart close by it's like 40 miles away i'm not gonna be traveling and leaving my spot that often so i made a video uh that came out today talking about self-sufficiency. So that's one thing I do when I get ready to go out of town. I kind of restock, revamp, clean up. I don't like traveling with my van dirty, but this time I might have to travel with my van a little dirty because I yesterday thought yesterday was Sunday, but yesterday all day was Monday. And so I actually have lost a day of doing things in my van uh it's been a little rainy here what they call rain it's just drizzle and it's been a low uh or it's been an overcast so i haven't been getting that much solar in my van so i had to kind of lay low because the weather is not that good but if i would have knew yesterday was monday I went away to town and wash clothes or, or whatever. So today is my last day to get everything that I need to get done. I need to check my meal one last time before I leave here. I need to go to Walmart, stock up on water. If I want some bacon or something to carry with me, I need to get that, uh, which I think I am going to get some bacon. Uh, I might even can some bacon while I am in... Arizona because I don't want to be going to if I can help it not going to Walmart at all that would be fine with me uh while I'm down there uh so I need to go washing I'm washing everything I'm washing all my linen I like to wash my linen once a month all my blankets all my sheets all my pillows, I take the whole pillow and put it in the washer just like that with the case and the pillow and everything. Uh, so I am washing everything. I usually take my curtains down and wash them as well. Uh, I don't have to do that once a month, but like if I'm somewhere and my curtains got really, really dirty or something or whatever, I'll take these down and wash them. I don't have to wash them now. So, you know, I could go every couple of months with washing my curtains. But I like to take everything else off. And the other day I took my covers off of some more stuff over there. So I don't have to do that. But I got my laundry bag right here. And so I'm not even going to put up my blankets today. I am not going to, I'm going to take my sheets off of this mattress and put the mattress and everything up. And I am starving right now. So I'm going to find me something to eat as well. I'm uploading two videos. So I'm working on that. I'm probably not going to go live uh, today and tomorrow because... I am trying to put out content that you guys can have while I'm traveling and while I'm out of town because I may not have a good internet reception when I get to Quartzsite. That's what I heard, so I do not know. 
Uh, so it's a little bit after 8 a.m. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to pick up my bed. Y'all, excuse me. I'm just about to pick up my bed. If you guys do not know what the community tab is, when you go to the channel, up at the top, it have home and videos and playlist. Y'all could click on the playlist and watch all the old content on the channel uh, to you. You could find so much helpful information in the playlist. So you could just click on the playlist and select what you want to watch and just go edit and binge watch and watch all the content. Also, there's a tab up there that say community. That is where I post daily, just typing something out, posting something, uh, talking to you guys, keeping you guys updated on what I'm doing right now, sharing older videos with you about questions that you guys may have had about something and I've already made a video on it. I just <clears throat> share that on the community post. So make sure y'all go scroll through the community post. You're going to find some very, very helpful information. And there is so much information in the playlist. If you have time to binge watch, remember, when you don't have money to do what you need to do, you got the time to watch videos and learn while you are preparing yourself and waiting on the money. That's what I did. I watched video after video after video after video. I binge watch, binge watch, binge watch people's channel till I caught up all the way to their current content. That is the way you're going to be inspired to continue to follow your dreams. And that is the way you're going to get experience and learn stuff that you didn't even think about you needed to know so when you start van life, you will know everything. You will know the ins and you will know the outs. You ain't got nothing but time on your hand. Instead of being in somebody's television, on Netflix, watch videos about what you're interested in. If you're interested in starting van life, you cannot watch enough videos. I will watch every video that I possibly can from different content creators because everybody gives a different spin on it. Watch the kind of people that you know you can learn something from. And, you know, some of these YouTube channels are just for entertainment purposes. And they're not showing you anything that you can learn. They're just showing you where they travel. But they're not showing you anything that you can learn. If you're trying to learn stuff, then watch people who are putting out content to teach you what you need to know. It's nothing wrong with watching the people that are traveling and they're at the point where, you know, they're not showing anything or teaching you anything. Uh, you have time for that, but you need to learn what you need to learn so you can prepare yourself to have the same lifestyle that they have. So I'm about to get up. Get it. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, y'all. See y'all later. I'll be back. So in every video, I try to have a conversation with you guys about something that could benefit you. So let me quickly talk about having solar. When you first start van life, having a build out and having solar and all this stuff is not necessary. You will be able to survive without solar you just have to learn how to do everything to the daylight like right now it's morning time and i don't have my lights on uh and i really don't need my lights on i could do everything to the daylight uh right now i have this window in front of me and i have a window covering and all i do is Put it up if i didn't want the daylight and let it down and that's automatic light this thing that i have over here to separate my van in the mornings i usually raise this up and when i raise that up that gives me more light in the van where i don't have to use my solar but because i do have solar if you have solar the best time to use your solar and have your lights on and everything is in the daytime. 
Use your solar, use your lights because you have power coming in and you're using directly from the power that's coming in and not the power that's stored. At nighttime, you're using from the power that's stored. But on another, on the other hand, if you don't use your solar during the day, if you don't plug up your lights during the day and you use more of the daylight that's provided for free, then you're storing up that power and saving it for the nighttime so you could have enough power to last you through the night. So if you have a battery bank that is not that big and extensive, try to use as much daylight as you can during the daytime and use your lights and other stuff less during the day so at nighttime you will not run into a problem of running out of solar at night so the more light you conserve during the day the more you're going to have in your battery bank for at night but if you are in a place where you have a lot of sun and you are getting good good power into your batteries you don't have to worry about that and you can run your lights day and night with no problemento if y'all got any questions concerning that in the comments bar below let me know when i first started van life i did not have solar panels on my van and uh i invested in a portable little battery bank it eventually stopped working on me i don't know why but I paid a hundred and eighty something dollars for it. And while it lasted, it was a lifesaver. I could just take it anywhere and charge it up. And sometimes, you know, I just charge it up wherever I could charge it up. Some parks you would go to had outlets and plugs where I could just plug it in and charge it up. And then at night, I had power during the daytime. I had my windows down. I had this up and I got the sun in that I needed. I would go to a park. I would open my doors. I would open my back doors. So you don't necessarily need solar to begin with. Solar makes your life so much better. It makes it so much easier. It makes it be just as convenient as home life and it's free so eventually when you can invest in solar invest in solar if you are on a tight budget like me uh if you eliminate a lot of stuff then you could start saving money you guys i know how to save money for what i want and what i need and just thank God for all my subscribers because they are the ones that help me get all this solar batteries, just everything in my van. So, you know, you could do a lot with a little. You just have to be grateful for what you have. Like in the beginning, I just had a faithful few subscribers who helped me with everything that I needed help with. And you build on that you work with what you have and you build on that in the beginning you're not gonna have the money to get solar it's not a big deal like it's free lights see this this your solar that's your solar girl free free <laughs> let me show y'all show y'all free solar don't cost you nothing you see that Open that blind up. Turn on the lights. And light a candle. And then raise this up. And more light come in. Let me show y'all how dark it is in here. When I put the blind back up. Lights out. See how dark that is? And just opening up those blinds. Look how much light. That's just the side right here open now if i open up the front and i tied this up look how much more light comes in i don't need no lights on like if i'm cooking or something i'll turn the lights on but other than that i don't need no lights on but i turn them on because i got them 
And, you know, but I might not even really run them today so I could have more solar building up because right now we have an overcast. When you have an overcast, try to conserve as much solar as you can so your batteries won't dip down too low and uh, you will be able to have more power during the night time. So use the daylight. Use the daylight every opportunity that you get. Don't let the daylight go to waste. And they say waste not, won't not. So don't waste the daylight. And at nighttime, you won't be wanting and wishing you had some light. At nighttime is the most important time that you do have lights. So use the daylight during the day. If you have a small battery bank, a few solar panels, use the daylight during the day and save your solar for at night so you will make sure you are always going to have lights throughout the night especially if you a scary person and you not brave like me <laughs> I, could, I could not have lights at night and it don't bother me okay y'all i'm gonna get my day started and i'll be back those uh clouds are capped over on the mountains you can't even see the mountains y'all right now you can't see the mountains because this that uh them clouds is on the mountains y'all thank y'all to the person that sent me this little stool this has really <laughs> that little stool has really made a big difference on keeping me from jumping down out my van and possibly breaking my neck and hip <laughs> it has made a big huge ginormous difference so thank you to the subscriber that sent me that this the clouds i mean the mountains over here are clear it's the top of the morning y'all it's not nine o'clock yet so the sun haven't really came out yet the sun haven't really came out yet oh, I got to take my ladder down today I hate taking that ladder down but I got to go on top of my storage and put stuff on top of my storage I'm gonna see if I can get away with that, but without going on top of the storage. But we go on wash clothes early this morning. Yeah, I'm getting ready to put on some clothes, but I'm just gonna put on what I had on yesterday. I did take a bath yesterday. I have wore this outfit a couple of days in a row. Y'all gonna see me in this outfit a couple of days in a row. Uh, it has, the weather has been cool here. I haven't been going outside. I just been staying inside the van and filming videos. So that gets me to my next tip, you guys. Uh, in van life, you do not have that much room to store your clothes. The way my van is built, I have enough room to store clothes in that big army duffel bag. So I can get a lot of clothes in there. But the more you wear your clothes, the more days you wear your clothes, then that's going to be give you more time before the bag fills up. So I have wore these clothes like three days or more in a row just being in the van or just filming a video and not going nowhere. And whenever I wake up and I'm not going to go anywhere for the day, I may keep my pajamas on all day long. So me wearing my clothes multiple days in a row or keeping my pajamas on when I'm just staying in the van and I'm not going to do nothing uh, helps me to save on laundry. So if you want to be washing and going to the laundromat every week, then change your clothes every day. That's going to get old. 
And if you want to be washing and doing laundry every day, then don't build a full-size closet like this because this full-size closet helps me have enough clothes. The less clothes you have, the more you're going to have to go wash. So if you just have five pieces of clothes, you're going to be washing every week. But if you have more clothes then and more room to store your dirty clothes then you don't have to go washing that often you can go washing once a month that is good to just be able to go wash once a month and or once every couple of weeks or whatever the more you change clothes the more you're going to be doing laundry the less clothes you have the more you're going to be doing laundry so just keep that in mind keep it in mind and do what's best for you I wear my clothes a couple of days in a row, especially when I haven't went anywhere and I haven't gone anywhere. I'm not worried. Other than YouTube, the only way people know I'd have had on the same clothes every day is because I film YouTube videos. But if I was just a regular van lifer and I didn't have a YouTube channel, who gonna know? Ain't nobody gonna know, girl long as you ain't smelling, <laughs> that's all that matters. So let me put on my clothes. I uh, turned on one burner. I am hungry. So I'm going to definitely fix me something to eat before hey guys, I go Guys, I just to got to fix me something to eat. Some eggs, some spinach, and some bacon. And I'm sitting here right here by the stove with one burner on. With my little footies on. Sitting right here and eating breakfast before I get ready to go wash clothes today i got all my clothes and stuff over there and i also got my little drink this morning so i'm trying to do all my routines before i go put some food in my stomach so i won't be hungry and my stomach won't be growling because i am very good for starting my day without putting no food on my belly. But I'm trying to get better with that. So, I'll see y'all later. This little thrift store antique shop they have the uh, wet wipes for sale uh, they have a case for five dollars so let me get my wallet out of here and I'm gonna go get a case and I'm gonna buy the case first open them up see how moist they are see if I like them and then if I like them I might get two cases because I'm about to be on the road and I want to make sure I have the things I need with me. When you find something that cheap, you want to stock up. So, hold on, let's go in here and see if I can find. Last time I came, it was in the back. I don't know if these are bottles of something, some cleaner right here. I don't know if these are the wet wipes I hear. Yeah, these are the wet wipes. It's 80 in a pack. And I think it's five dollars. Ma'am, do you work here? Are these five dollars for the box or how much were they? They're twenty dollars a box, but they're buy one, get one. Okay. Just, I thought I had seen the last know. time I came in there, they had $5 for the case. Yeah, it was a sell. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was a sell. Okay. okay. Well, I won't be doing that, y'all. I get them for 50 cents in Houston, so we'll just wait. $20. $3 a piece. I don't think that's a good deal. 
Well, that's what I came back for. As many as they have, they really should sell them for a cheaper price to get rid of them. The longer you keep stuff, the more you waste it and you never get your money back out of it. So, okay. Let me get back on the road and go wash some clothes. I want to get one free. Three dollars a piece. So. Okay, y'all. I'm about to go. Let's go to the laundromat I thought I was going to get some stuff done get me some wet wipes but I'll be waiting and seeing they, I could find them on sale anywhere so Okay, y'all, let's go. Laundromat. Got my laundry detergent that one of my subscribers bought for me off my Walmart registry. And I'm gonna have to make a couple of trips in here to get this thing really should be push. Oh thank you. I'm gonna have to make a couple of trips up in here. So they playing music, y'all. Let me put y'all on mute. go get the rest of the stuff so let me just gather up everything in the van okay so I got all my clothes in the washer so now I can go and pay and get my wash started
He trying to get out. Look. What do you want? I could sit here all day, you guys. Beautiful. you doing, Vanessa? Watching God.